Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I always get questions like this from some of you that are interested in learning cloud computing but you doubt whether you can learn and have a successful career. I want to remind you that when I started I also had zero IT experience. I've told this story before to the students that I'm mentoring. I was 34 when I started learning and I had zero IT experience. This was the apartment I was living in at the time and this was my check every two weeks. When I tell you guys that I understand how you feel and where you are starting from, because I was once there, but I was able to successfully transition into the cloud industry. And I'm telling you that if I can do it, you can do it as well. I successfully learned AWS and I've been working as a cloud engineer for the past couple of years, which has been life changing. One of the ways learning AWS changed my life is that it allowed me to make enough money to be able to buy a house and also invest in the stock market. When I was a card designer, I used to make 45,000 a year. And just last week, one of my stock portfolio over 50,000, which is more than I made in a year when I was a card designer. And I promise you that everything that I've achieved so far is a result of learning AWS and working as a cloud engineer. So in this video, I want to share a few points on the mindset that I had that allowed me to successfully learn AWS and transition into the cloud industry. The first mindset you must have when you are trying to learn cloud computing is you must believe in yourself. It does not matter whether you have zero IT experience, whether you went to school for computer science, you are a book person or you know how to code. As long as you are willing to learn, you will learn the information. It was the same way for me. I didn't have any prior IT experience, but because I was determined and desperate to change my career from a CAD designer to a cloud engineer, I was able to learn the information. So the very first mindset you have to have is you must believe in yourself. That is self-explanatory. I don't have to elaborate on that. Just believe in yourself that you are smart enough to learn AWS and cloud computing. The second mindset you must have is that it is not too late to start. Sometimes we think as we get older, we are unable to pick up information especially if it is tech information. As I told you guys earlier, I started learning cloud computing when I was 34 and I was able to pick up the information. So whether you are in your 30s or 40s, I am telling you, if you want to learn AWS and cloud computing, you can learn it. Don't let your age stop you from starting. You must be persistent. This means that when you start learning AWS, no matter what obstacle you face, you will continue learning until you have achieved your goal. So don't take no for an answer. There have been many times that I've worked with people who are excited to learn AWS. Sometimes when we think about the money we can make as a cloud engineer, it is exciting. So people are very excited to learn AWS in hopes that they'll make hundreds of thousands once they start learning. But once they start going through the information and they hit a roadblock, they always seem to stop. I'm telling you that in order to be successful as a cloud engineer, you will definitely face some obstacle along the way. But you have to continue going and understand that the more time you spend with the information, it will get easier as you go. So don't take no for an answer, be persistent, and this will also help you achieve your goal. You must seek opportunities, not guarantees. And what I mean about that is there have been many times where people have messaged me wanting to learn AWS but they are only going to start learning if I can guarantee that they will get a job. This is the wrong mindset to have. If you do a quick Google search, you will see that there are thousands of positions that is currently open for cloud engineers. As long as you develop the skills that the employer is looking for, this will increase your chance of getting a job as a cloud engineer. Another thing I want to mention is that if a company has interviewed you for a cloud engineer position, that is an opportunity. It is up to you to make sure that you are prepared for the interview and you have developed your skills and able to convince whoever is interviewing you that you are the right fit for the position. I want you guys to see an interview as an opportunity and how you prepare for that opportunity is in developing your skills prior to going to the interview. For me personally, I see interviews as an opportunity. No one is going to give me the job. It is up to me to convince whoever is interviewing me that I am the right fit for the position and I have the necessary skills to contribute and bring value to the work. So don't look for guarantees, look for opportunities. 
the last mindset you must have is you must prioritize developing your skills first before you apply for any job. I always tell the students that I'm mentoring that making money as a cloud engineer is a byproduct of developing your skills. So what I mean is that you don't get the job then want to develop your skills. You first develop your skills, then because your skills is so valuable, someone will pay you the money that you are asking for. So when you are learning, try to prioritize developing your skills first. Learn as much as you can learn, and the best way to learn is to complete hands-on project. If you prioritize building your skills first, this will lead to you getting an offer of 150,000, 170,000, or even 200,000. The people that I see making the most money in the cloud industry are the people that have the skills. So when you are learning, try to prioritize developing your skills first, and I can assure you that this will lead to you making more money in the long run. This is the mindset that I used to learn AWS and successfully get a job as a cloud engineer. If you are looking for someone to mentor you and show you the hands-on projects that you can complete that will allow you to build your skills, which will lead to you getting a job as a cloud engineer and also making 100,000, 200,000 in the future, I have a mentorship program where I guide my students through the hands-on projects they must complete to build their skills to increase their chance of getting a job as a cloud engineer. The main purpose of my program is to guide you and show you all the skills you need to build to increase your chance of getting a job as a cloud engineer. If you are interested in the program, I will leave the link in this video's description. If you have any questions or there's other things you can think about, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.